Hey guys, it's Brandon, aka B Rich Beauty, aka your beauty best friend, Beauty Besties. Y'all said y'all wanted to see these Wakanda lips on my lips. Y'all said I want to see these lips in real time. So that's exactly what we're doing today. I'm giving you my lip swatches and my favorite lip liner pairings so you can look like your best Black Panther Wakanda Forever life. So you know what to do. Grab your beverage. Let go! on child i said i needed a little pick me up today child i said i need something warm on this throat child i said i needed a little bit of detoxification today so i said you know i'm gonna drink me some good old tea it's my matcha y'all y'all know i love my matcha so i am drinking my matcha today as we try on these lips together so cheers to you sugar and before we jump into all this good old lips today for all the new beauty besties welcome on in hey y'all while you're here though don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on all this good old melanated magic sugar and for all the beauty besties that's not new to this but they are true to this <laughs> y'all know let's say it one more time y'all know i love seeing y'all welcome back on in the room now let's just jump and talk right let's just jump and talk let's just jump into it and talk I did the unboxing, I did a Wakanda Forever look, and now the movie it has come. The movie is in movie theaters. Wakanda Forever is alive and well. By the way, I don't know if y'all know, I got my white on because, you know, the folks showed up to the movie theaters wearing white in remembrance of Chadwick Boseman, our Black Panther Forever. So did y'all go see the movie yet? I'm not gonna give y'all no spoilers. I saw the movie already and I have to let y'all know funny thing that happened to me um, while watching this movie. Now, we have the lipsticks. So we're gonna try on the lipsticks today. We're gonna try on the Love Me Liquid Lips with it. We're gonna try on feeling it. And I have liners. When I tell you I can make it rain, I got lip liners for days all on my lips like lip liners. Lack, lack, liners, lack, 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 liners. We got liners. So I said I wanted to infuse a little bit of lip trend with some of these MAC and Black Panther Wakanda Forever lip colors and give you some recommendations and ways you can just change it up for those that want to buy one of the colors or many of the colors. It's up to you. I mean, these colors are really pretty, so why wouldn't you want to buy many chow? So I'm going to start out first with a little bit of lip primer um, just because I do all my lips for it. For anyone that's watched any of my videos, I always do a lip primer before I do my lips. So we're gonna just do this once on camera, but just know as I'm switching to each and every lip, this lip primer is going on before we do it. Um, I'm obsessed with MAC Lip Prep and Prime Lip just because it really does make my lips feel comfortable. It keeps the lip color on, it keeps it from bleeding and feathering, smooth out texture, all that great jazz. I could talk about it for days. Now, I say let's start first with lipsticks and we're gonna go from light to dark, okay? So first up, we're gonna start with Story of Home, which is this beautiful mid-tone neutral color. I told y'all that this was gonna be my nude. Now, when you're doing a nude, you can do a couple of different things. Obviously, you can line to like your natural lip color if you want more of like that invisible nude and not a lot of like dimension, but you wanna frame it. If you wanna do that and you're like medium to deeper complexion like myself, Cork Lip Pencil is fantastic for this because it's a nice, softer, cooler brown. If you want to see the nude very much 90s because 90s lips are in where it's a lot darker and the lip colors in the center We're gonna go classic chestnut, which is this beautiful chestnut brown And if you wanted to warm up your nude with a little bit of color, but still kept it warm Mahogany um, lip pencil is really really pretty as well. I'm a chestnut kind of boy So I'm gonna go chestnut today with story of home I pulled y'all in a little bit closer. I need y'all to get into all this good old lip, honey. So because we put down the primer first, you can see that the liner is gliding on nice and smooth. We're taking story of home. I did my chestnut liner a little bit thicker because I like chestnut. And we're going all over the lip with this. Look how stunning. You know, I always say there's multiple types of nudes. You have your invisible nudes where it looks like you're not wearing anything. You have a little bit of a lighter nude, which is a little bit brighter than your actual lip. Or you have a deeper nude, which is a little bit deeper than your natural lip color. To me, this is my invisible nude, honey. This looks like my lip color. My lip color looks like Story of Home. 
So I'm gonna come a little bit closer and you can see this beautiful nude lipstick on. I'm applying a little bit more. Let's move into the next color. Next up is Royal Integrity, which is this beautiful chocolate matte color. So I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna actually take Mahogany Lip Pencil and use that. for warmth and definition, see that? So I know you're probably thinking, you just did the lipstick first, why not the liner? And I know I just did liner first, then the lipstick. Really kind of personal preference. Oftentimes when I'm doing something that's gonna be brighter or bolder, I will do the actual like lipstick first and then use the liner to almost clean it up and make it nice and pr pristine and precise and crisp, you know? Or if I'm using something that's a little bit lighter, I sometimes do, you know, the the liner first and then the lipstick as well to kind of like blend things together. So just really kind of depends on personal preference. But baby, let's get into this. I like mahogany lip pencil with this. Again, if you wanted something a little bit darker, you could definitely do chestnut. But this is what this color looks like. And again, this one is Royal Integrity. Wakanda Sunset. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love it. I love it. Okay, so you can do a couple of different things here, right? For your lip liner, you can go deeper like your wine colored lip pencils. So for example, you can grab your Night Moth, which is gonna be like this deep eggplant vino kind of color here. Um, then you can also do vino. This one's by MAC. It reads a little bit more of that wine color, right? Mm. Or you can actually try to match it. And this one is magenta. And magenta is a nice fuchsia as well. Or you could do a couple of different things and you could, you know, use more than one lip pencil, create a you know, nice good old ombre sugar and then slap this lip on in the center. I think I'm gonna ombre it. So I'm gonna use Vino and Magenta together and we're gonna put Wakanda Sunset on in the center. So because this is the ombre lip, I'm doing the liner first. Here's also one of my lip lining techniques. If you, tr if you struggle with symmetry and balance, I almost treat it like that math equation. Child, don't ask me what equation it is. I just remember being in math class and they used to always say, when you do to one side, you do to the other. So that's kind of how I also do my lips when I line. So for example, I just did the cupid's bow over here. So I pulled up from here, here. And then I'm gonna take this, this side and do the same thing and pull up in the same direction and do a little bit of an X. Then I'm gonna line from the corner of my mouth up to connect because just in the event that your lips aren't perfectly symmetrical, it, when you follow the actual lip shape, you have a tendency to fall into the pattern if the lip's not balanced. If you work up against gravity, you can work for your symmetry. So I'm gonna work up this way and then I'm gonna go over here and work up this way and I'm working the corner down this way, stop halfway and I'm gonna start here and pull it together and we're gonna piece it together like that. That's gonna be the best way to achieve symmetry if you ever struggle with symmetry for your lips. You're welcome, take a sip. Now here's the other piece. Always connect your corners, even if it's a nude lip, it, but especially if it's a bold lip, a bright lip, a red lip, connect your corners. There's nothing worse than having a bold lip. And when you start opening your mouth, the corners are disconnected. Baby, if, ooh, if that burns my biscuits. And I'm gonna tell you a real quick story real quick, y'all, because you know I love y'all. There's a very famous celebrity who has a very well-known mother and she loves a good red lip. And she always wears a red lips and is never connected in the corner. And I love this celebrity's mother as well. I don't know this celebrity or her mother in person, but I wish I did and I, I'm manifesting it right. But every time I see her mama wear this red lip, I just wanna go in with that lipstick and liner and be like, just hold your mouth open and still real quick and ah, 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 ah. Ooh, child, birds and biscuits. Don't walk around here with disconnected lips, okay? That's just from me to you, beauty bestie. Magenta, filling in the sides. So this is the Night Moth and Magenta together, Wakanda Sunset right in the center. <laughs> Y'all, y'all can't tell me that this color is not the everything, okay? Baby, let me come closer for y'all. Baby, you can go back in if you need to. Sharpen up the lines. Baby, hey. All right, let me take this off before I get lost in Wakanda at the sun, looking at the sunset, okay? Next up is Dora Milaje. Y'all, don't judge me. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Deep red, a matte red. We're gonna do that first. I love 
how rich this color is. Because it's red to me, it reads a little bit warmer and richer. I decided to take Burgundy Lip Pencil by MAC and we're gonna use that right here. We're gonna use that to line the lips. All right, so we have Burgundy Lip Pencil with Dora Milaje. And you know what I thought about Beauty Besties? You know, I have yet, and I meant to probably put this on with a few of the other lipsticks. This lip color feeling it, this lip gloss feeling it is the bee's knees. It's like a topper. You know, I don't know much about nails. I just sit there and let them do my nails. But I feel like a topper in this case is great because you can stick this on top of anything and it just makes life look better. I feel like if you want to add a little razzadazzle, a little pizzazz to this lip, Take your little feel in it. Dab a little on in the center here. Nom, nom, nom. Look at that. It's like the best topper. This went from just, you know, I'm out, I'm in a meeting, I'm on a Zoom with a matte lip, I throw in a little bit of gloss, and now you out in these streets for happy hour. Drinking you a, a heart-shaped herb cocktail. Somebody needs to create one. A heart-shaped herb cocktail. All right. Let's move into the Love Me Liquid Lips. That was all of the lipsticks. So again, Story of Home, Dora Milaje, Wakanda Sunset, and ooh, what was that last girl that we also tried on? Royal Integrity, okay? We're gonna take this off and jump into the Love Me Liquid Lips. Next up, I'm gonna use Show Off. And Show Off I love because it's almost like a rosy bronze color. And the great thing about that is you can do a lot of different liners with this. You can pull from that rosiness and make it more red and use like a red lip liner. You can make it nice and warm and go like chestnut or, or cork. But I kind of want to go in between. So I'm gonna take Mahogany Lip Pencil. What I love about Mahogany Lip Pencil is it's like the best of both worlds. A little bit of red, a little bit of brown, all in one. Yes, 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 just like, like Mahogany would. Now I'm gonna tell y'all a little funny story. So I got a chance to see the movie on the 10th um, with my work family, my, my Mac team. And we did like one of the fancy movie theaters where you know you can recline your seat back, it's leather, it's cushiony, it's dinner. You can order food and cocktails and just really have a full, like through a full circle experience. Why I fall asleep? Baby, first of all, this movie is almost like three hours long. It's like two and a half hours and I was in it. The opening got me all emotional. I was like, yes, I felt proud. And I'm not gonna give no spoilers away, but this movie is a beautiful tribute to Chadwick. It also continues on with the action, all the good, all the good stuff that makes an action movie, an action movie by Marvel. And I just remember, I was a solid, I had to have been a solid an hour and 30 minutes into watching it. I just remember waking up and I was like, oh, okay, oh, I think they're getting ready to do X, Y, and Z. And then I heard Rihanna start singing. I was like, ooh, this must be the, the, the song before they get ready to do X, Y, and Z. And I was like, wait a minute, I see credits. Oh, Jesus, I missed the climax of the movie. Why your beauty best friend missed the climax of the movie, y'all? I saw the post credits though. Tell me why I gotta go watch this movie all over again and sit through the first hour and 30 that I saw just to get to the good stuff, okay? So, I'm telling you this. Eat light while you watch this movie. Don't have, you know, full-on meal, child, so the itis doesn't set in and cause you to fall asleep on the Black Panther Wakanda forever, okay? All right, Mahogany's on. Let's do a little bit of show-off here. Gorgeous. And what's also cool about this brush, I'm gonna give y'all a little YouTube hand. The wand here hugs the lip as well and you can use the tip for precision. So I love, love, love this formula, but look how pretty that is against Mahogany. Y'all, come on. What's your favorite lip so far? I know we only done one lip, Love Me Liquid Lip, but we did four lipsticks. But I, this, is, this is so good. This is like a every, this is like I wanna be outside, but not really. This is, gives you just a little bit of boost. This is like a brunch lip, right? I can go to brunch in this lip and still look like I did something with the makeup. Ooh, I like this one. Show Off in Mahogany Lip Pencil. Next up is Thicker Than Water, and I think I'm gonna use Vino Lip Liner because Vino pulls more of a wine color. So you're gonna get that depth of like, you know, a deep Bordeaux, but you're gonna get that redness like a good old red wine, a good old Malbec for the kids. So y'all know I got all this lip real estate. If y'all don't wanna line your lips this big, y'all don't have to, but come on. Mm-hmm, go ahead, moment of silence. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm coming close, y'all. <gasps> it's still metallic in it for me. This is Vino with Thicker Than Water. 
Ooh, I like this. Let me take a picture of myself real quick. Ho, oh, please. All right, we got Night Moth on the lips. Yes, we do. And Wakanda forever. I may or may not have been looking forward to this video just to put this on with Night Moth for y'all. Y'all know how I feel about the color purple. Y'all know y'all might have to turn down the TV right now because I don't know where this is about to go. <laughs> or your mobile device. How, wherever you're watching me on, just turn that volume down one or two notches real quick. Y'all ready? <laughs> we ready? Oh, we go ahead. Y'all sure y'all ready? I don't think y'all ready. I don't think y'all ready for this lip. I don't think y'all ready. <laughs> I guess I gotta show y'all. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, I'm gonna come down. All right. Look, look, look. Look, look. look y'all. It's giving 90s realness vibes. I feel like Moesha. I feel like Mary J. Blush from the 90s. Okay, okay, sorry. All right, let me calm down. Let me finish this lip. Uh, I don't know if y'all saw the movie or not, but if y'all plan on seeing this movie, y'all need to go to see this movie with this lip on, okay? You are walking around literally with the heart-shaped herb on your lips, okay? Y'all better show up to Wakanda forever with this lip on. Let me just sit here. Sit here in it. <laughs> We're gonna rest in it. <laughs> I'm gonna smile in it. <laughs> I'm gonna lick my lips in it. Ah. Ooh, that, that looks real weird. All right, y'all see I got excited. All right, so this is Wakanda Forever. We have one more lip color to put on. Next up is the shadows. And I'm gonna tell you something, with the packaging, because the packaging has like the, the purple ribbing on it, it, the color looks like a deep, 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 deep violet, but it's black. Now I'm gonna tell y'all, I love that a black lip is trending. I know a black lip can be intimidating, so I'm gonna show you what I want to do for this black lip. You have a few options when doing a black lip. You can either take a red liner, and sometimes I do this as well. You can take a red pencil if you wanna make it a little bit brighter and not so intense. And you can do just a dollop of that and rub that in and you get just like a nice, uh, almost like a, a deep, uh, a, a, a black and cherry type of color. If you wanna keep it in that dark family but still give it a little bit of warmth, I'm gonna use Cyber World, and I don't know if y'all know about Cyber World, right? I have a limited edition Cyber World from the Tiana Taylor collection way back when, but Cyber World is purple. It's like deeper than Night Moth, deeper than Vino. It is almost like a black and purple or a black and plum, like a black and plum. So I'm gonna take Cyber World, I'm gonna put that on and we're gonna put um, in the shadows on together. All right, we're grabbing the color. It's called The Shadows, guys, not In The Shadows. I know I've been mispronouncing it, so I apologize. So The Shadows, in the center, a soft press. So now that I have it on, I'm gonna take a little bit more of my Cyber World, and you're gonna use that to blend. And there's your lip. There's your, this is, it's trendy, it's gorgeous, it's fierce. It's, it is literally Wakanda Forever Black Panther. It's everything. It's a fierce lip. This is one of them lips where all you, this is one of them lips. See how excited I got? This is one of those lips where all you have to do is add a wing liner, a mascara, a lash, even throw on a pair of glasses, real or fake. And you, with this lip and a high right, woo -hoo! My Lord today is called a Say Something Lip, y'all. And on that note, I got to go. You know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave me a comment. Most we'll importantly, check the notifications and make sure they're turned on so you don't miss out on all this good old Melody and the Magic. Y'all, what was your favorite? What lip color was your favorite? What liner pairing was your favorite? Y'all let me know. Have you have you seen the movie already? Did you buy any of these lips? What lips do you plan on buying now that we tried these on together? Y'all let me know in the comments. I want to know it all, okay? Who loves you? <laughs> I do. See you next time. Bye.